This is Neil Ratna Rock Talk here on WDST Radio Woodstock with another episode of This Week in Rock, stories from the soundtrack of our lives, supported by Rock 101, a fascinating new show featuring a live band and a renowned music historian who will explore 10 classic songs that changed rock and roll. Hound Dog, I Want to Hold Your Hand, Satisfaction, Good Vibrations, and more for one night only on Friday night, August 25th at the Woodstock Playhouse. Further info and tickets at woodstockplayhouse.org. Musician, singer, and songwriter John Hyatt celebrates his 71st birthday today. Hyatt has released 22 albums, and his songs have been covered by a multitude of artists, including Three Dog Night, Bob Dylan, B.B. King, and Joe Cocker, just to name a few. So today, I thought I would tell you a few things about John Hyatt that you might not know. And as usual, a little background first. Hyatt was the sixth of seven children and grew up in Indianapolis, Indiana. Plagued by family tragedies, when he was nine years old, Hyatt's 21-year-old brother Michael died by suicide. Two years later, John's father died after a long illness. And although John didn't get to spend much time with his father, Hyatt's ability to tell a story with a song began listening to his dad. My father was a storyteller. I think that's where I got a fondness for telling stories. He used to uh, gather us, there were seven of us, and he used to gather us around in the evening and he'd make up, he had this imaginary family called the Weenie family, and it was just us. But we'd go on these grand adventures, you know. He, he had been in Alaska, for example, during World War II. So we, he'd take us up to Alaska and we'd see mastodons and f uh, f frozen tundras and mountains. And we'd meet all these perils and do all kind of brave acts and protecting each other and surviving. And it, and it was always a happy ending, you know. Great father. Yeah, yeah. I didn't get much of him. He died when I was young, but... Uh, the little bit of time I got with him was pretty special. John learned to play the guitar when he was 11 years old and began his musical career in Indianapolis as a teenager playing in various local clubs. Hyatt moved to Nashville when he was 18 and got a job as a songwriter for $25 a week. However, John was unable to read or write scores, and eventually he had to record all 250 songs that he wrote for the company. In 1973, Hyatt got a record deal and released Hanging Around the Observatory, which was a critical success, but a commercial failure. A year later, his next album also failed to sell, and Epic Records released Hyatt from his contract, leaving John without a deal for over four years. Hyatt was picked up by MCA Records in 1979, but still found it difficult to achieve commercial success. In 1982, Across the Borderline, written by Hyatt with Ry Cooter and Jim Dickinson, appeared on the soundtrack to the motion picture The Border. Sung by country star Freddie Fender, the song was later covered on albums by Willie Nelson, Paul Young, Reuben Blades, and Willie DeVille, and the song was performed live in concert by Bruce Springsteen and Bob Dylan. Even though John had some success with his songs, after three more albums failed commercially, Hyatt sank deep into a drug and alcohol addiction. But by 1986, with the help of some friends, John was on his way to being clean and sober, and he was inspired to write a song. I'd left a trail of, uh, of wreckage, and, uh, and I was in a... Uh, my marriage was falling apart, uh, and I didn't have a label all of a sudden, so my, my professional life was going down the toilet and you know, pretty much everything was, was a mess. But somehow uh, I was sort of coming through that and, and uh, through being able to stay clean and sober for a minute, I kind of got a little clear on my personal life. Have a little faith in me. I needed something, I needed to hear that, you know in my life, some sort of, you know, entity or, or whatever, just some, to have faith in something, you know, was, was, a, was important to me at that, at that time. The song, Have a Little Faith in Me, appeared on Hyatt's next album, which finally brought him the commercial success that he deserved. And John followed that album with a string of nine straight studio albums, which hit the Billboard 200. 
An interesting fact about the song Have a Little Faith in Me. The original attempt at recording the song included a larger instrumental accompaniment. However, the recording was played by technical issues, and Hyatt left the studio without a completed track. The next morning, Hyatt was informed that his estranged wife had committed suicide, which John attributed as a sign that the song was meant to be heard much more simply, and he eventually recorded it with only a piano accompaniment. Okay, let's listen. John Hyatt and Have a Little Faith in Me. <laughs> 